So I'm here in the University of Calgary's Special Collections um, unit, and what's really interesting is they have a either a replica that was printed of the Bible that was printed in 1700 um, of the original, which was based in a uh, 1440 printing. And I can't tell if this is actually from the 1400s or the 1700s, but regardless, um, it's an incredible piece of work because it explains so much about European history and American history. Um, you can see right off the bat that it's in Latin. Um, and so because of this, the Catholic Church was able to spread its influence uh, without competition. And ultimately, this is um, something that probably led to segregation within Western countries, uh, specifically Western countries that accepted um, Catholicism um, and its vast resources as their underlying governance model. And so I was just commenting to somebody here that, you know, when people talk about the police, um, of course, you know, there's going to be a lot of issues within any major department. But the real problem is that they're enforcing something that is based on a cultural problem of segregation that goes back hundreds of years, um, where because only one entity, the richest one, had access to knowledge, they were able to spread their influence and then keep other people out. In contrast, uh, now the only thing here, this is Genesis, and this is really cool. Uh, you can see the first line in, the, in Latin, which I don't, I've never studied it, but it's quite obvious that, you know, it says, in the beginning, there was creation. Uh, Principio creant, I, I can't pronounce it at, at all. But this is really, really interesting. Um, and what I was commenting on earlier also was that, you know, this was not an issue in Islam because the, their authority, their source of authority was Arabic. Their Quran was in Arabic. And that was something that was not restricted to anyone. Possibly because, you know, the, the Prophet Muhammad was an orphan. Uh, didn't have any sort of interest in segregation. Um, and, of course, one of the first things he did was ban slavery and, and you know, not very successfully in, in implementation. Uh, but that's one of the reasons why if you go to Northern Africa, you see brown people that are a mixture between Africans and Caucasians. Um, but this is something that you've got to check out because if all of European history is here. You've, you've got the reasons why uh, a guy called Martin Luther in Germany rebelled against all this. Um, you've got the reason why the Gutenberg Press is something that we study um, quite extensively. And so I think if you have a chance to come to Calgary, uh, this is something you've absolutely got to check out. Um, because you've got the, the you no, know, you've got the effects, the cascading effects of this book, which has been translated so many times, um, you know, leading to a tax-exempt organization and tax structure and economic structure within, and all the way from Europe to, to, the, to the U.S. And in that way, it's also become somewhat or less accountable than, say, corporate power, which is increasing its influence. Um, again, part of that is because uh, once again, you don't have viable competition. Um, and so you've got a loss of credibility within the authority, the authority structures uh, that proclaim to govern all of us. So that's basically it. Thank you so much. And you've got to come out here and check this out. It's incredible, isn't it?